hello welcome to this lesson of our study of you know um complex analysis okay so this is our first lesson of complex analysis and we are here to talk about analytic functions okay so if you have not subscribed to the channel kindly subscribe to support the channel as well all right let's start okay okay so we have a whole lot to talk about in complex analysis okay but um, before you start studying complex analysis i would advise you go through complex numbers and revise on it okay so um, let's start with the first one that is analytic function we were supposed to actually start with complex differentiation but it's a normal differentiation you know okay so analytic function given f that is we we assuming that is a function of more than one variable okay that depends on u and v and then the u also or the v and u also depends on x and y okay so just turn your mind or turn your mind into calculus of various um, variables or something like that okay and so given f being u plus iv this one with u as u of x y and then v as v of x y then f is analytic if it satisfies the equations okay so when f or the u's and the v's in f satisfy these equations okay and these equations are called cauchy riemann equations okay so if f and v actually satisfy these equations then it means that this function f is analytic okay so let's go ahead and pick an example and go through it so given that f equals x plus i y show that f is analytic but here if you remember we wrote f in in a lesson as u plus i v okay so it means that here u corresponding to or u corresponds to what in the main question u corresponds to x and then v corresponds to y because if i'm to compare this f here in the question and then what we're talking about then it means u is that and v is that and what we need is del u we need a first derivative of u with respect to x and that of v the same thing so we need a first partial derivatives of these both v and u okay so we need del u del x and that is equal to one and we need del u del y and that is also equal to zero because there is no y in u okay and we also need del v del x which is equal to zero and then we need del v del y which is equal to one but before this could be or this should be analytic we are seeing that let's go back to that page and talk about you are seeing that del u del x okay this one should be equal to del v del y so let's go ahead and check del v del x is one and del v sorry the u del s is one and del v del y is one so it means since this and this are the same that that part is okay and then we should also check that del v sorry del u del y is equal to the negation of del v del x okay now del u del y del u del y is actually equal to zero now let's negate del v del x which will be got a negative of zero and the same as zero it is indeed equal to del u del y so since these two are equal we can also say that indeed this function f is analytic so you can in concluding you can say that since del u del x is equal to del v del y and that is equal to one i, I think so and del u del y is equal to negative del v okay del x which is equal to zero the function f is sort analytic okay that is how you conclude analytic okay i hope this is okay for you all right let's pick another example and talk about it and that will be it for this lesson now f equals e to the x cos y plus i e to the x sine y show that f is analytic okay to show this all that we need to know is like i said compare it to the former one 
so here if you are supposed to compare this to f equals u plus iv then it means that u is actually equal to e to the x cos y and then v is equal to e to the x sin y okay so now with this if i'm to find the first partial derivatives of both okay let me do for the u del u del x will then be equal to um, let me write it well for you del u del x okay sorry del u del x and this is equal to the same e to the x cos y i hope you remember some of your differentiations okay in in um, complex analysis your differentiations and your integrations should be very very strong so you can kindly go back and you know do some revision i have i have videos on them so you can check on my page then you have del u del y which is equal to negative e to the x sine y i hope you can do it because there is no there is no there is only y in the cos aspect and there is no y here so i differentiate only the cos aspect which is negative sine y with respect to y indeed okay so that is it now i do for the v the v is equal to um e to the x sine is it that sine y right that is the v aspect okay so since v is that then i have to find the v del v del x and the rest so del v del x is equal to e to the x sine y and del v del y is equal to what is it del v del y is equal to e to the x cos y okay the video why rather okay so that is it now let's compare the the um first partial derivatives okay so we n we actually need del u del x and that is that was equal to e to the x cos y and we need del u del u del y which is equal to negative e to the x sine y okay now let's compare them you're supposed to show that this is analytic and if it indeed it is analytic then it means that del u del x should be equal to del v del y so let's compare them yes indeed this is equal to that and that means that is the first part of the cash Riemann equation and this is satisfied okay now let's go to the next one i think that for this to be analytic this should be right and then the other one is del v or sorry del u del y should be called minus del v del x okay now let's see del del u del y is negative of e to the x sine y is it equal to the negation of del v this one yes when i negate ne negate this i'll get negative e to the x sine y and that's the same as this so it means that this is also um this is also equal to the negation of this okay so negative of del v del x is the same as negative e to the x sine y and that will be give me this so it means that this is equation also holds since these two holds it means that um our function given in the question that is this function f here is actually analytic okay i hope you understand so this is what we mean by analytic function and nothing more okay so thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you next time